Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. We're here at the Modis MDA event in Stevenage, and we've got Wolfie himself. Martin, you still love these nights, don't you? Oh, I do, mate. Yeah, they're brilliant nights. Uh, you just, uh, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, can't get enough of it. But you know, it's you know, is what it is, and I do what I do, and I love it. We haven't caught up with you since your Super Series at the new venue. What, what was it like playing there for the first time, and just a special occasion? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I mean. Uh, the trouble was I had to walk upstairs a little bit too much and uh, it affected my leg. But, you know, there you go. That happens. Getting older, so you've got to, you know, work with it, shall we say. All preparation now and eyes on that Seniors World Championship back at the Circus Tavern in February. How excited? I know it's a little while away yet, but there's, there's, there's chat around it already, isn't there? Well, there is, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really, really good. You know, last year was just immense. Uh, I think this year's going to be no different. Where is the Martin Adams game? Because we spoke at Lakeside. Um, obviously, you, you, had, you had the injury at the time. Obviously, that, that, that's better than, than what it was. Where, where is the Martin Adams games and mindset right now? Uh, the Martin Adams mindset is set on the online live league, or as, as we are now, the Moda Super Series, plus the World Seniors. Uh, all this chasing around for ranking points and stuff. I think I'm all done with, it, done with that now, so, you know. Uh, and the game itself, well, I practice as much as I can, when I can, but I can't do too much because the, the body won't let me. So, you know, you just keep keep trying, keep plugging. You know, you have good days and bad days. All dark players do, but uh, yeah, it's not going too bad at the moment. When we spoke at Lakeside, that you, you were talking about you didn't know what you wanted to do because it's only a very limited number of tournaments you're chasing points for. So is that kind of Martin Adams done with that side of the sport now? I think it is, yeah, to be perfectly honest, yeah. I mean, I did say, I said to my partner, Lee, I said, look, I'm not going to do it at all this year. I said, let's see how I feel as, as the year goes on, and I'm, I'm quite comfortable, happy doing what I'm doing. With the WDF, it looks as if there's a change to the format in the Masters, and it looks as if it's going to, to leg play. That's not 100% confirmed, but it looks like by the statement that was released and their website as we record this right now, is that kind of disappointing for you that but one of the longest running tournaments that darts has seen is maybe changing not for the better i think it is disappointing because uh, it was one of those things you, you it's it's part of the history of the world masters being set play rather than okay it was, it, very often it was a like three legs no best three sets five legs of the set yeah so you know but it's something that i would miss if it just went to legs for sure also, is it kind of worrying, if you're a WDF player, that there's no World Championship announcement yet? We're not a million miles away from, from the time slot it, it's meant to be, and there's no announcement of dates, times, prize money, nothing. If, if you were a player, would you be concerned right now? Yes, I would be. I'd be very concerned. I'd be trying to find whoever I could within the World Darts Federation and try and find out what's going on. Uh, you know, you, you have to make plans, and at that time of the year, you know, if they're going back to the January, I mean, there's family things to sort out as well. You're just after Christmas, you want to know when it's going to start so you can plan that period of time. I mean, you're talking a month, really, you know, where you've got to plan your month out and uh, where, you, where you're going to practice, what times you're going to practice and so forth. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's the hotels to consider and everything else. So, yeah, I'll be very disappointed. Has the amateur game ever really recovered from the setbacks they had back in the day? Obviously, I know you were pruning it all and you made your name playing in the BDO back in the day, but since the demise of that organisation and everything that went with it, has the amateur game ever recovered? It's hard to say, really. I mean, we, we are seeing, you know, some of the, the players that were just PDC now playing within the World Darts Federation. You know, obviously with all the, all the legal stuff that was gone on before, that's all dead and buried now because BDO doesn't exist, so nobody has to, has to conform to anything now, really. They just play where they want to play. That's a good thing, uh, but whether it will turn out as a, a good recovery or not, I'm not sure. Martin Adams, it's always a pleasure talking to you. It never disappoints me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. Cheers.